Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Matthew, for that uh, very inspiring talk. Very inspiring. We've already moved beyond imagination. Uh, the technology is already redefining our connected future. Since I attended the inaugural IMC in 2017, the first release of 5G was finalized and adopted, and 5G is being rolled out across the world. The next release is nearly final. It focuses specifically on non-cellular industries. And we're quickly moving towards a world where everyone and everything will be intelligently connected. 5G will provide the foundation for a connected future with fiber-like data speeds, ultra-low latency, high reliability, and of course, mobility. 5G will be as pervasive as electricity. And this technical capability, combined with the scale of data consumption unique to India, the innovation unique to India, creates a perfect storm for an innovative new mobile digital platform in India. Imagining this connected 5G future began years ago. There are always three layers to any transformation in mobile. And 5G is no different. For over a decade, we've engaged in the basic research in systems engineering and information theory foundational 5G standards. Then second, once that work is done, once that work is well underway, the industry is in a position to choose the best technology for inclusion in 5G standards. Critically, to ensure performance, to ensure what we expect from the standards, we have to ensure backward capability, backward compatibility. And we have to future-proof the technology for unforeseen use cases and unforeseen demand. And now, third, implementation is proceeding incredibly quickly across the world. The promise of 5G depends on spectrum. We must ensure access to adequate spectrum across different types and different bands. In addition to licensed spectrum, we have to have access to unlicensed spectrum and shared spectrum. That's critical. In addition to low band spectrum, utilization of mid and high band spectrum is critical. Breakthroughs in managing the physics of millimeter wave spectrum have made that spectrum incredibly useful and offer unique benefits in driving high performance throughput, large numbers of users simultaneously. There's limited availability here in India in the lower bands. There's tremendous availability in millimeter wave spectrum an enormous beachfront of spectrum that will be useful for 5G, but it has to be made useful, very carefully so. 5G promises immense gains over 4G. Qualcomm's have conducted extensive simulations around the world to help the industry understand the real-world performance potential of 5G. sub spectrum offers medium browsing speeds in excess of 490 megabits per second, seven times faster responsiveness than 4G. Millimeter wave spectrum offers median browsing speeds in excess of 1.4 gigabits per second, 23 times faster responsiveness than 4G. In both cases, we saw 5X increases in network capacity. That's critically important in a market like India, where you have incredible demand for digital broadband, for digital data, and on mobile. Massive consumption requires this type of performance. Five G rollout. Ah, okay, thank you. Is happening faster than four G. In the first year of four G you had four operators and three OEMs offering 4G services and 4G devices. In the first year of 5G, 
you'll have over 30 operators offering 5G services, 40 OEMs offering 5G-enabled products. Qualcomm alone has 150 products uh, based on Qualcomm's chipsets being offered in the first year of 5G. We've already pushed the capability of 5G from premium tier to high tier to mid tier, enabling an 800, 700, and 600 Snapdragon series. And so we're already pushing 5G capability from the expensive devices to less expensive devices, and we will continue to do so to the benefit of markets around the world. So a 5G ecosystem is vibrant and developing already. Out in the hall, there are seven devices running on a Qualcomm chipset and an Ericsson network that are 5G enabled and live. Five of them are smartphones, two of them are CPEs, and three of them are millimeter wave capable. Importantly, 5G fixed wireless offers great potential for underserved rural broadband access. Wireless has been an efficient and cost-effective way to extend the reach of broadband access. This is greatly, greatly, greatly amplified with 5G, where service providers can bring high-speed connectivity to rural communities, including using millimeter wave, as well as sub-6. Qualcomm has developed the industry's first fully integrated extended range millimeter wave solutions for 5G fixed wireless access, making millimeter wave a viable and powerful solution for rural fixed access. Again, that is an important technological capability given the enormous amount of spectrum that's available here in India in millimeter wave. We've demonstrated this in rural America. Here's a simulated overview where we show an overlay of 5G millimeter wave at two frequencies. And the 5G cell sites are co-sited with existing 4G cell sites. This simulation was part of a network planning effort for a rural community in Wisconsin. With 4G, corridors of 25 to 50 megabits per second were available. With 5G, data throughput increased to hundreds of megabits per second into gigabit speeds. This is a compelling solution to wirelessly complete fiber to premises connections. And imagine the potential of this technology here in India with the tremendous wireless broadband need in rural areas. And finally, but certainly not least, 5G will drive transformation across every industry. 5G is the first set of standards built specifically to enable non-cellular use cases. And Release 16 specifically focuses on bringing cellular to other verticals. 5G enabled goods and services are expected to generate over 13 trillion of global economic impact, 1 trillion here in India by 2025. From healthcare to energy to manufacturing, 5G will power, power entirely new cycle of innovation, enabling new business models, new services, and new ways to engage and interact with customers, and driving new, res new revenue streams as well as operational efficiencies that are as yet unrealized in industry. 5G will lead to the creation of entirely new industries that have yet to be imagined. And again, this is particularly true here in India. Once this wave of 5G technology reaches this incredible demand and reaches this country where innovation is so highly valued, you're going to have an incredible confluence of, of powerful forces. This is one of the reasons why it's so important to support startup ecosystem in India, which we're doing at great length, because the ideas that will come from new startups to take advantage of this digital platform will be tremendously impactful. We look forward to doing our part to assist in this transformation. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.